Hello, um, today we're going to try and make some little fossils. So I've gathered some plants, some different bits of fir trees that are quite fossily. Um, just and a leaf there, that's from a cherry tree but it's got quite raised veins on the back. And this is some ladies mantle which again has quite uh, deep raised veins on the back of it. To do this activity you need thin paper. This is just printing paper because that's thin enough for you to rub through and get the texture. Some wax crayons or a candle depending on what you've got. Some watercolours, water and a brush. Okay, so I'm trying to do this with one hand because I'm away from home. Basically you get something with texture like that and you put it under your paper and in my case my elbow and we take a wax crayon and we just rub it so that we're getting the texture of that leaf coming through. See? And you can carry on with a variety of things. Let me put that to one side and take the leaf out. Let's try some ladies mantle this time. I'm going to pop that under my paper, tucking it under. I'm going to stick my elbow on it while filming it for you so it doesn't move. And then again, I'm going to rub it. And this one's really nice because you get really subtle veins with it. And that lovely serrated edge of the leaf as well. Like that. So you can do that with loads of all those leaves. But just to show you how to do it here, I'm going to take that one away, take the paper and the leaf away, and come back with the original one. Right, this is a bit of pine. I'm going to get some green watercolour. I'm just going to gently go over it. I'm going to mix in a bit of black probably to make it a bit more stony and a lot more water. Again, you need to be careful not to go over and over it because otherwise the paint will obliterate the pattern that you've rubbed. But just to be gentle and just put very wet paint over the top of it. And then once you've done that and you've got your, your texture through, leave it to dry and then you can cut it out to be your little rock or stone. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side now carefully because it's very wet and I'm going to get the ladies mantle which is a bit more delicate. I think for this one I'll put over an orangey red. More orange so that hopefully you can see it. There. Some of the more delicate marks are disappearing. I'll try and put some more watery on. Hmm, I'll try a bit of yellow if I can get it to loosen up. Yeah, there we are. Does that just allows the colour to show through anyway, even without the wax resist. Okay, when they're dry, I'm going to cut them out and come back. Okay. This and this were the original ones in the first film, and I've made a few more. You could even just leave them with the wax crayon as fossils, but um, I kind of like playing with the paint as well. So I'm going to cut some out to show you. Okay, so just like real fossils that you find, sometimes the imprint is very clear and other times it's more subtle. So I've cut them out into rock shapes like rock and roll. And now I'm going to take my felt tip. 